Was Baby Rex actually dropped in 24 hours? We're going to go over that in the video and also my theory on what actually happened. I can expect for some details to come out sooner or later. So I posted this TikTok here covering the story about Gucci Mane and Baby Rex in their Twitter feud. But then when I went to digging, the dates just didn't add up. Something didn't seem right. So if you see in this post right here, this was posted in July that Baby Rex was signed to 1017 during Rolling Loud weekend. Since then, they have dropped a video and um, on YouTube, which two months ago, um, it has now gotten 1 million views. Gucci Mane didn't say anything about him not being signed to 1017 until now. So the question is, was he actually dropped in 24 hours or is it just a publicity thing? Now, here's what I think happened. I think that if he was signed, he actually was dropped within 24 hours and Gucci Mane still proceeded to do the video and allow him to put out the song. And then once Baby Rex posted this tweet about Houston, Gucci Mane cleared his name and put it out to the public that he was not signed to him. He was not 1017. Because if you go and look up Baby Rex, he still was under the handle of 1017. So when people caught wind of his comment, they immediately assumed that he was Gucci Mane's rapper. Also, when you look at the response, Baby Rex said, I don't even know why you brought this to the media. So I'm guessing it's just um, Gucci Mane clearing his name and Baby Rex really riding off of the media coverage and the clout for this. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to like and subscribe.